paraphonic, involving speakers placed at different heights so as to add a vertical distribution of sound to the horizontal one of stereophony. Well, what if you could create the illusion of vertical audio without needing any more than two speakers? Before I explain this technique, we need to back up a little bit and talk about psychoacoustics, which is the science of how we hear sound. In my two stereo sound videos, which I recommend watching if you haven't already, we talked about how our brain localizes sound across the horizontal field, but how our brain determines vertical direction is slightly less straightforward. The short of it is that our brain simply isn't as good at localizing sound vertically. What we can determine is based on the shape of our ear, which filters sound differently based on its direction. Those changes can be modeled with what's known as a head-related transfer function, or HRTF, but we'll come back to that. At a very simple level, sounds above us are brighter, while those below are darker. This is known as the pitch height effect. We can simulate this effect with an EQ by using two shell filters, one on the lower frequencies and the other on the higher. By turning down the lows and turning up the highs, our audio starts to sound like it's moving higher, and by doing the opposite, we can make audio appear here to move down. One of the tools I've talked about in previous videos, Panagement, has a tilt control that does just this. It's a free plugin and I'll link it below, so definitely check it out. For 99% of sound design projects, the tilt technique is enough to make a sound source appear to be higher or lower than the listener. For that 1% though, let's go back to the idea of HRTF. As I said before, HRTF is a way of modeling how our ears filter sound based on direction. To fully explore the concept, we need to get into something called ambisonics, which is something I'll cover in depth in a future video, but for now we're just going to cover the minimum. Just think of ambisonics as an intermediary format to get us where we want to go. To do this, I'm going to put an audio source on a channel in Reaper, which I'm using as my DAW. I'm going to create a second track with four channels, then send my mono audio to the four channel track. On my four channel track, I'm going to place an ambisonic encoder. In this case, I'm using stereo encoder from the IEM plugin suite, which is free. I can use this plugin to place my audio source anywhere in the spatial field, including not only to the right and left with the azimuth control, but above and below with the elevation control. Next, we need to decode the audio out of the ambisonics format and into a stereo format. To do that, I'm utilizing the Resonance Audio Utility, which is an open source plugin created by Google. Technically, the plugin is decoding into a binaural format, but if we just change the elevation and don't worry about the azimuth, it's effectively just stereo. There's lots of ambisonics decoders that utilize HRTF, but I've found Resonance Audio is generally the most useful and accurate. The problem with HRTF is that, as it models the shape of the human ear, it can only approximate the effect as everyone has different ears, so some people can hear the effect better than others. In my experience, Resonance Audio does the best job for the most people. Anyway, with that set up, I can now control the elevation of the audio, and you should hear it appear to move up and down. Obviously, simulating vertical audio this way is not as accurate or realistic as having a surround sound system with a vertical element like 7.1.4 or Dolby Atmos systems, but since the vast majority of people will experience your content on stereo systems, this is a really neat trick to give more dimension to your mixes. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you like this video, if you learned something new, hit that like button. If not, feel free to hit the dislike button. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those down in the comment section down below. As always, if you want to see more videos like this one, including upcoming videos on things like ambisonics, definitely hit that subscribe button.